In this video, we're going to let you know how to install a Parlantec US 3000C battery, US 5000 battery. It doesn't matter which battery it is, but we're going to tell you how to install it today. So as you can see, we already earthed the battery. Um, so we've done this first, and we just put the battery next to where we want it to be placed. So obviously, as you can see, there's seven batteries in total. This one is a master battery, um, and this one is our new battery so this is how we connect them up first of all we need to set the last battery which is the new one as a master and the way we do that is we take the air can network cable out and we put it in the air can bus there obviously before you start messing with all these batteries make sure everything switched off the inverter switched off etc so we put the air can in there which basically will tell the inverter this is going to be the new master battery, our new battery we've just got today. And um, these little address things don't really matter much um, unless you're using RS485. But most of the time you're using CAMBUS for the communication protocol for BMS. So within the package, you will have the battery and you'll have three leads, and um, which I'll show you in a minute. So but what we'll do first is take these protectors off. Up. I'll put them at the side. So first of all, we've got our positive battery, and um, because as you can see, as you can see there, um, the the positive from the actual inverter is connected to the last battery. We need to remove that. So if you look on the side, there's a little pin thing, and you press the button, and it comes. The lead will come off like that. This is the way you do it. So obviously we've got all that sorted out and now, and we know what we need to do is connect the positive of that, this battery, and it clicks in place to the positive of the new battery, which is here. Now, because this is gonna be the last battery and we need to connect the inverter positive to the bottom of the stack. So this, this would goes here as well. So this is from the inverter. Then obviously we take this protector off here and we use our negative cable, which we get with the actual um, battery pack. We connect it to this battery here, like so, and to our new battery there. So that should just click in place. Okay, so it's all clicked in place. Now, as you can see, we've connected our new battery up to the system. So positive, positive, negative, negative, and the last battery, because it's in the stack, this is going to be our positive pole for the inverter. The negative pole is right at the top. Um, so this is fine. So next thing we need to do is tell the inverter that this new battery is gonna be the master battery. And the way we do that, we get a network cable, which we've got with the new battery. We put it in link port zero, which is that one there, you can it clicking. Then we put this one in link port one. So, Link part one. As you can see now, link part zero is left free. Um, it's the only battery with a link part zero free. So obviously we understand that this is going to be our master battery, which is our brand new battery. And we can put our protective covers on here. Um, a lot of people measure the voltage of these batteries just to make sure um, that they're okay. But you don't need to because you've got a BMS system um, within the batteries themselves. And this master battery, which is our new one, will control all the others and control the charging and the balancing. So there's no need to like measure voltages here and here. There's no need to do that anyway. So as you can tell, it's all connected up. Make sure it's all secure. Connect it up. Yep, yeah. all secure. And now you can basically switch all the batteries on in turn. So we'll switch this one on. We'll switch that 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 one on. And we'll switch that one on. Obviously, I mean, a lot of people have a DC switch and to switch it on and off in turn, but we don't need that. I mean, we'll just do it this way. Now to obviously set the batteries back up, we press this button here, SW button. You see how the lights go on? And you can see all in turn, all lights will start flashing. And that basically is saying that the, all the batteries are talking to each other successfully. So now they should flash all, and now they should start running. So you can tell there, they started running now. They're all fine. So yes, this is the way you connect a new battery to your existing stack. Um, and that's the video for today. If you've got any questions, give me a call. Um, 
or better still, just message me. And then we can obviously um, help you out there. Please subscribe to my video. It's very important. Um, any questions, please ask. Um, and like I said, this process is basically with any battery you get. Any new battery you add to your stack. Make sure it's secure, which always I've done with this chain. Um, make sure you've got plenty of room um, within your cupboard, etc. And um, yeah, you should be ready to go. Um, thank you very much. Bye.